Hey guys, it's Duane, and I hope that you had a wonderful week. I hope that you also caught that bonus vlog that I posted a couple days ago, April 22nd, which is tomorrow is Earth Day. So I wanted to post like a throwback reminiscent video of Craig and my wedding, mini moon, and honeymoon all into one because we celebrated all of those in like such beautiful, beautiful places. This week's video, I really wanted to give you like springtimey inspiration, uh, fun vibes <laughs> um, to leave you with for the week while we end April and go into May, which is also really exciting because Craig's birthday is April 20th, which will be yesterday uh, when this is posted. And my birthday is uh, May 1st, oh my God. <laughs> Brain farted for a second there on my birthday. So sad. The upcoming videos will be very like birthday vibey. So um, I hope that you tune in for those. For this week's video, I wanted to talk about Ana Luisa, a wonderful, wonderful jewelry company. Um, I've always admired them. I followed them on Instagram for a while, so I'm very excited to partner with them. They are all about sustainability. They use 100% recycled gold and sterling silver. All their packaging is recycled as well. They have transparent pricing, so it all starts at $49 and it goes up to like higher end pieces. Quite wonderful because Mother's Day is coming up and um, I hope that you check them out and I hope that you enjoy the pieces that I selected. I wanted to choose like some perfect everyday pieces so I chose cute little studs, a couple uh, necklaces that I really love. I love how dainty they are and, um, and this ring which I'm gonna go into a uh, story time with. I chose this ring because there was a tragic accident of a similar ring a few months ago and this one just looked so so much like it so uh, when I saw it on the website I was like I have to have it um, but the first ring was actually a ring that I had made um, about a month before Craig and I got married some of you know who have been watching my videos you know over the past few years that my dad passed away in 2011 which has been nine years already so far which is crazy but he had very very many hobbies <laughs> he would like go from hobby to hobby to hobby at one point he really loved like watercoloring at one point he loved uh metal m metal detectoring whatever that is <laughs> and um at another point he loved making jewelry he would pick out like different stones and like make them into jewelry and Last year, when I was visiting my mom, I came across this really pretty sapphire um, that was just the stone itself. I saw it and I was like, this is so beautiful. I want to turn it into a ring so I can wear it every single day. And um, Craig actually had my engagement ring made by a friend's family jeweler who is here in New York City. And so I was like, maybe if I bring him the sapphire, he can turn it into a ring. And I just wanted something very simple and dainty, just ex almost exactly like this. It had um, gold around the stone and just a very simple band. And, um, and he did, and it was beautiful. And I wore it on uh, our wedding day and about a month after our wedding day. So I probably only had it for like a couple months. Um, it accidentally fell in the toilet. I just remember hearing a ding, like it hitting the ceramic of the toilet. And I think because it was heavy, it just went straight down because I remember hearing it and looking down and not seeing anything. And then was like looking to see what was missing and that ring was missing. And I was like, oh my God, if this ring just fell down the toilet. I think for two days straight, uh, we didn't use the toilet once. I was like, I don't care. I'm gonna walk to the library two blocks away to use the restroom or like a nearby restaurant just in case. Like I just didn't want to flush anything down anymore um, because to, like the soonest the plumber could come out was in two days. So he came out and took off our toilet and couldn't find it and charged me like $400, which that stunk, um, but it was gone. And um, it was such a bummer. It was like, you know when those things happen and it's just so frustrating and um, there's nothing you can do. You just have to like move on. Um, so when I saw this ring that was very similar to it, uh, I was like, I want that. <laughs> and I know that it's not like, you know, my dad's stone, but um, 
it's still it's still meaningful. Like whenever I look down and look at this ring, I, I think of my dad's um, sapphire. So yeah, I hope that you enjoy the rest of this video, uh, seeing my my favorite pieces that I chose and um, pairing it with some springtime outfits. I hope they enjoy this and come along. Her go look at me go okay so for outfit number one I love this cute little asymmetrical floral dress from petite studio I paired it with leopard loafers from Zara I wanted to wear a couple of different prints together uh, who put that rug right there jewelry I paired with this is the Rebecca necklace the mini love knot studs the heart stud the Ellie ear cuff and the palace deep blue ring Outfit number two is featuring my favorite new mules that I got at the Barney's liquidation sale a couple months ago. They are the brand The Row, and the leather is so, so soft. I can't wait to wear them in the summer, walking Nacho around the block. <laughs> I also just got this beautiful vintage Escada blazer from Poshmark. The pockets are all velvet, and I just loved the big gold buttons. The shorts are Zara, and the top is from Richer Poor. Outfit number three is this, uh, what is this, a prairie dress? I saw it and I fell in love with it at uh, Beacons, which is my one of my favorite secondhand stores. And I was like, I need this. I need to wear this at a picnic in the park. I paired the dress with the simple black Gucci loafers. Wow, look at her go, look at her dance, look at her shuffle. Uh, is that a shuffle? I don't know. Here are my favorite mules again. Both of these were thrifted, this skirt and this blouse. The blouse is Theory, I believe. Nope, I lied. It's Millie. <laughs> and, uh, and the skirt is actually H&M. I found both of them at Beacon's Closet. My favorite location is the one in Greenpoint in Brooklyn. And last but not least, outfit number five, which is a vintage floral button up that I think I either found on Poshmark or eBay. I'm not quite sure, but I don't think I spent more than $8 on it. <laughs> and then these jeans from H&M with my simple black Gucci loafers. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week and uh, stay tuned for the videos to come, which will be Craig and my birthday and definitely some more quarantine. For those of you who've been watching my, <laughs> my, uh, my quarantine vlogs, it's our uh, teen drama that has been uh, previewing at the end of every vlog. So yeah, I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. I love you, I love you, and I will see you next week. Okay, bye.